spending the day in Virginia City, which is one of my favorite places in the entire United States. Are you excited? Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? She's like, yeah, I'm moderately. <laughs> well, I'm excited because this town is actually pretty pet friendly and this is the first time that we are bringing Carly with us. So we're gonna get up to some of the things that we normally like to do here today and maybe check out some new things that are specifically pet friendly. If you've never been to Virginia City before, it is truly like stepping back into history. In 1859, what is known as the Comstock Lode, the first major discovery of silver ore uh, took place here, and it turned this town into a booming mining town in the late 1800s. And visiting today, there's still so much left from that time period, like down to the wooden sidewalks and just the historic look of the city. It is truly a gem. And it's also known for being quite haunted, which is one of my favorite aspects of this city. There are ghost stories from all over this town, but one of my favorite, and probably because I've personally had an experience there, is the Silver Queen Hotel. Jeremy and I stayed here last time, and we had a pretty uh, uneventful night. However, my cousin and I stayed here about 10 years ago, and uh, we did not. We left in the middle of the night. That's how intense it was. So if you're looking for a spooky good time, uh, this is the place to check out but also like all over the town in general. We decided we're gonna start our day with a trolley tour, which we've never done before here, but it is pet friendly. And not only that, but he told us we could not only have a dog in each hand, but a drink in each hand as well. So we aren't prepared for that, I guess. <laughs> wasn't a very long tour, but it was packed full of information, uh, a lot of history about the town, and I think my favorite thing I learned, I had no idea that underneath the boardwalks there are tunnels that were built by Chinese workers who built a lot of the town, and they used them to travel um, a lot because if they were traveling on the streets outside of business hours, they could be shot down, and that was okay. So just very interesting, dark, side of the history, which there seems to be a lot of here. It was quick, but it was a nice way to get your bearings about where everything is here. Yeah, and I think now we're gonna do a little window shopping, maybe get some, some food here. There's a lot of places around here named after Mark Twain because he lived here for about two years before he was known as Mark Twain, he was Samuel Clemens. There's actually a Mark Twain Museum right there, and that is because he worked there. It was his first job as a writer at the newspaper down there. Right now. I've been trying to convince Jeremy for years now to do one of those old-timey photos in a bathtub where it looks like you're naked and he refuses but this is where this started it all started here four years ago we could be those people having a sensual time in a bathtub and it's a photograph that's old time me. <laughs> Can the dog go in there? So you're saying you'd do it if we could have the dog with us? I don't know. <laughs> it's so ridiculous that I just want to do it. It could be our Christmas card photo. Merry Christmas to you, I guess. <laughs> Someone. came to this place called Virginia City Jerky Co. and Smokehouse Barbecue. We got a pulled pork nachos, which they had the option of having spicy or like regular barbecue. And I couldn't decide, so they did half and half for us. And a nice little side of potato salad. That was really tasty. It was nice and smoky. The sauces were all pretty good. I liked the smoky sauce. And the potato salad was good, different. You're the bigger potato salad fan though, Kara. The nachos are really good, just really good quality pulled pork, and they make their own house-made sauces. There are three different kinds that we sampled, and they were all delicious. I, as someone who's not the biggest fan of barbecue sauce, I liked them all. And that potato salad was unusual, but good. The shop is really cool. We just came to the shop and get custom boots and hats made here. I just pointed out that this looks like the Lady Gaga Joanne hat, now I want one. <laughs> I'm surprised because 
We've seen a bunch of old-timey Western people walking around, but we haven't seen any gunfights happening here. No gunfights. No, they normally happen right here. I'm so excited because we just got our tickets to take the upstairs tour at the old Washoe Club, which is another very reportedly haunted place here in town. And not only that, but this is like probably my favorite bar in all of Virginia City. So we're gonna go pop in there and get a drink while we wait for our tour to start. Are you excited to learn about the spooky paranormal history of one of the most notoriously haunted and also probably pretty cool exclusive millionaires club? That was a lot of words you just said there. <laughs> to it and it will not be great in image clarity or quality. It looks brand new, right? The reason for that is because this is not normal glass. It's actually made out of a material called diamond dust. So if the bright light shines on it, oh, wow. yeah, cool. now there's only a handful of these known to exist in this town and here inside of this establishment we have three. This one right here in front of us, there's one on my third floor and then downstairs at the bar, the real big one in the center, which is also made out of this material. But they do not make diamond dust moves anymore and it's not due to diamonds or to cost. It is due to the element mercury. Mercury is very toxic to your health. This mirror is made out of pure silver with mercury backing it. Over time, the mercury and silver slightly separate off of each other, which allows that silver dust to sparkle and shimmer through it, as you guys can all see. And that is what prevents it from ever showing its age. That's a really interesting tour, and they definitely focus more on like the paranormal activity and some of the things that they've captured, which are actually pretty compelling things. Um, but yeah, I think we were all sufficiently spooked out, including Carly, and uh, it was a pretty good time. I don't know, I just love this building. This is such a cool building. There's also the crypt back there, which is uh, where at one point they stacked dead bodies. Uh, I think they were, what, what did they say, like 1,200 dead bodies or something? There is a neat staircase that is pretty unusual. Yeah, there's only like one other kind of like it in the world still. It's a spiral staircase that's only supported at the bottom and the top. It was made with no screws or anything. It's all like dowels and glue and tongue and groove kind of things. Very interesting. Yeah, really interesting. And they also have like a little museum in here because kind of what made this place famous was that it was first featured in the Ghost Adventures documentary in 2004. They have all kinds of memorabilia and things from Ghost Adventures and beyond. Yeah. Which is, you know, cool if that's what you're into. Yeah. We were walking by this old timey photo place and maybe I should have mentioned to Kara that these people have their dog in their photo. <laughs> they do, but also like this is the most perfect old timey photo I've ever seen. They already accomplished it. We, we couldn't just rip that off. We've walked up and downtown. I feel like we've really spent a good amount of time here. But there are a couple things that I'm still hoping we can do. One of them I know we can do, but the other I'm not so sure. But let's let's go check out the cemetery. We've come to the Silver Terrace Cemetery, which is one of my favorite places to visit in Virginia City. It's just a really beautiful old cemetery and very unique. There's a lot of interesting headstones in this cemetery. Initially, when this was constructed in the 1800s, it was 11 different cemeteries and they were all sectioned off by religion. So for example, we just came into the Freemason section. It is now one massive cemetery you can visit. And every time that I've been, I, like we hardly ever scratch the surface. It is so huge. Yeah, it's really big. One of the things that's really interesting about this cemetery is that I'm noticing a lot of the headstones, they don't just say how many years someone was buried, but they say how many months and days. I wonder if that's the whole cemetery or if it's just the Freemason section. For as much of a hustle and bustle as there is in town, it's just so tranquil here. And I, I love that. It's just a really nice, peaceful place to come, as you, I guess, would expect from a cemetery. I think 
think we made pretty good use of our time here today in Virginia City, but there is one last thing that I'm hoping that we can do. I haven't been to Virginia City without seeing them yet, so fingers crossed we can find the wild horses. Well, we did not see the wild horses of Virginia City today. You usually can see them either coming to or from town, but no such luck today. However, we did get in and out for dinner and that makes me content. Plus we had a really nice day today. So thank you so much for coming along with us. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and check out our other adventures. We are gonna be traveling through the Southwest and the South very soon. And we just got back from England. So we have all kinds of videos that we're still posting from that trip. So we'll see you soon. It's the next day, we're on our way out of town and I think we just found some of the wild horses. I think, hopefully they're not just like in someone's prop fat pasture, but I think they're wild because they're just right here on the side of the road. High five. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Saw the wild horses. Virginia City trip complete. <laughs>